Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Russ here from Porky's Corner. Well then again, you already know that, don't you? Because that's why you've tuned in. Today I'm joined by John from Down London. How are you doing, John? Very well, sir. How are you? I'm all right. You're becoming a bit of a regular now, aren't you, John? <laughs> I'm enjoying it, man. I hope the yeah. fans and who are watching are enjoying it as well. Good man. Good man. Uh Let's go straight in then, balls deep. Uh, what do you think to Josh Taylor's impressive win last night over Ramirez? Very, very pleased. Very, very pleased. He fought really well. His movement, everything just went well. Um, I love that uppercut that he gave the guy. I can't remember the round it was, but yeah, he fought very well. I'm just very pleased that at least the table's turning now and hopefully it keeps turning. We keep winning. Yeah. We're going to their back again. Do you think that yeah. Josh Taylor, now he's got all four belts, will milk the belts and all the easy mandatories? Like the because he had an easy mandatory recently, didn't it? Or do you think he'll step up now that he's become undisputed at that weight, step up to Welter and have a new challenge? Because that's where the money is now, isn't it, for him? What what do you think? I think he will step up. Yeah. I think that's it. the money is going to be too attractive for him not to step up. Yeah. And the Americans want that belt. They want those belts. So mm -hmm. it's going to be. I think he will do well. I think he will yeah. do well if he steps up. Um, was so impressive. Very, very impressed yesterday. Just the way his movement, everything was just on point. Yeah. Um, really well. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, what do you think to his performance? Because he dropped him twice, didn't he? He did really well. He's really, really impressed. His boxing, his movement. Um, he just uh, boxed Ramirez, just outboxed him. Yeah. Beat him in every department. Mm. Would you say that Ben Davidson has added something to Josh Taylor's game since he took him on? Absolutely. A lot of improvement. Um, his movement. Um, his movement, his, his fighting I, IQ as well. Um, just the way he reads the fight, the way he uses the ring. I think, yeah, definitely is a lot of improvement and I hope it keeps improving. Um, like Tyson Fury, just that complete fight. Just keep working and keep sharpening, keep adapting, keep adjusting. Um, yeah, I think sky's the limit with Josh Taylor. Yeah. Well, you know, I rate Josh Taylor and I have done for a few years now. Uh, do you see Josh Taylor stepping up and fighting Crawford in a super yes. fight? I can see that. Crawford is going to want that fight. He's going to want to fight Josh. Um, Crawford, very crafty fighter. Um, it'll be a very, very interesting matchup. Yeah. What do you think? <clears throat> I think an undisputed 140 champion who's cleaned up at that weight, he can't just step up and start fighting cream puffs, can he? Mm -mm. He's got to go in straight away for world title shots. Crawford, Absolutely. Errol Spence, or Sean Porter. Who knows, even Kel Brook. I'd like, I've heard his name mentioned this morning. Kel Brook from Sheffield against Josh Taylor. Why not? Yeah, I think Josh would be Kel. Yeah. I think Josh would be Kurt Brooks. Yeah. Crawford and Spence, both very tricky fighters. It'll be very interesting. Do you feel that a lot of credit, a lot of credit has to be given to MTK for what they've done with Josh Taylor? Absolutely. Yeah. Credit's due. Give it. Absolutely. Yeah. We have to sharpen him up. Yeah, absolutely. Sharpen him up. It was very impressive yesterday. I'd have to put Ben Davis, uh, sorry, not Ben Davison, uh, Josh Taylor in the top six pound for pound now in world. Do you agree? Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. Top five, top six pound for pound. We're going to have uh, F F Crawford, Errol Spence, uh, Canelo. There can be any order, Josh Taylor. Uh, Usek, Tyson Fury, Lomachenko, 
you, you can go any, any, you can put any, any of them seven can can be in any order, can't they? He's up there now with the best fighters in the world, isn't he now, Josh Taylor? He's now an, an elite fighter. There's no yeah. getting away from that. I, I, I think this is where it starts for Josh Taylor. He needs to up his game. This is where yeah. it starts. Yeah. See, and that's what you just said just now, elite fighter. Yeah. Elite fighter always up their game. Mm. This is just the start for him. If he yeah. wants to stay an elite fighter, he needs to up, up his game, bring dangerous sparring partners in. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just sharpen every angle, every department. But yeah, I agree with you, 100%. I've given Ben Davidson, a.k.a. Boxer Size Ben, that's just my banter name for him, but I have given him some stick because I have, mm. a problem with, I have a problem with people not learning the craft and just jumping in with fighters because... I, in my opinion, Tyson Fury, Billy Joe and Josh Taylor were already ready-made, they're already complete fighters when Ben got them. But we have to give him credit, uh, he's not had a loss with them fighters, has he? No, no, he hasn't. He hasn't. He hasn't. I didn't Sometimes... like... Sometimes... Go on. Yeah, go on. Go on. I, I was going to say, I didn't like what happened with Mark Tibbs when he was talking in corner and he jetted in the day before and never told Mark Tibbs that he were coming into work and things like that. And he just got sprung on Mark. I have a problem with that. I think that's quite sneaky behind the scenes and, and the backbiting going on after the Billy Joe loss and saying that he pulled the fight and Mark Tibbs hesitated and, and all that scenario. I think that's all a bit of a mess. But we have to give him credit for what he's done with Josh Taylor. But let's not forget that Shane McGuigan did all the heavy lifting. Absolutely. But... Going back to what you're saying, that it, all the mess with um, Ben coming into the camp, yeah. someone must have given him the go ahead to come to the camp. Yeah. So we who, can't just blame him. Who was that? That's was it, was it MTK? Was it Billy Joe? Why weren't Mark Tibbs told? Why were it sprung on Mark Tibbs? Or were they waiting to see if he got through customs in, at Dallas to get through? And if he didn't, were they not going to say anything? Or once he got through, uh, you think they were going to worry about it then once he got there? Yeah, as I said to you, whoever gave the goal ahead for him to come in, that's yeah. the person you have, we have to question. Yeah. Nothing to do. Yeah. If someone told you to come to a party, it's not, yeah. it's not your fault. So that's where the question lies. Who gave yeah. him the green card to, him to be talking as well, to be quite um, quite strong in a corner as well? Yeah. Someone must have given him that confidence. Yeah, I agree with you, mate. I agree with you. Uh, but he's done a great work. You know what? He's got. He's done a great work. Yeah. Who do you think's the top pound for pound guy from the UK at the moment? Pound for pound. What weight? All weights, all across the board. That's why we call it pound for pound. <laughs> mm. I think Fury. Heavyweight. I'm trying to think cruiserweight now, not heavy. What about all the way across the board? Who's the best fighter from the UK at the moment, John? I'll say Fury. And then who would you say, Josh Taylor? Josh Taylor, next. Well, I'd say Josh Taylor, and then I'd say Fury. That's the, they're my mm. top two from the UK, Tyson Fury. Yeah. Why uh, Why I'll say Tyson? For, well, Tyson has had a lot of, well, Elite level fights. Well, Josh, this is yeah. Josh, this is one of his first, well, one of his major tests. When you say pro so, grade, when you say pro grade, were a test for Josh Taylor, though. It was, but I'm not sure if it's as uh, the bigger test than Romero, Romero's. Yeah, I see your point. He needs, he, he needs a couple more at that level. Before you could say pound for pound, yeah. or after, uh, whereas Tyson has had quite a lot of good fights, a high level. He rises to the occasion, and Josh did yesterday as well. But I need to see more of that yeah. to be able to, you know what I mean. But going to someone's back garden and spanking them—that's that's a massive achievement. How many? Uh, yeah. How many? How many top fights would you say Tyson Fury's had, John? Mm, good question. Good question. Elite, uh, obviously Wilder, 
Um, Pitch Go. Yeah, that's two. What else has really tested him? Um, I think it's just those two. Yeah, just two. <laughs> Yeah. Two, two guys, yeah. So it's not really a lot then, is it? Not really a lot then, is it, really? It, yeah, it's not really a lot. But the, 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 the amazing thing about Tyson is every fight, he's always improving. Yeah. Or working on something. Yeah. And that's why, I know I go on about Tyson Fury, that's why yeah. I consider him a complete fighter. Every fight, it's always a different gear. It's yeah. always a different... Yeah. Uh, something that he's bringing to the table, whether he's just going to be using his size, whether he's just going to be using his jab, whether he's going to be using his feint, whether he's going to be unorthodox, orthodox, he's always doing something different. Yeah. And that's why when you put him against any fighter, because he's put so many style of fights, he knows how to adapt. Mm -hmm. He knows how to adjust. He knows how to throw you off. Yeah. You know, He's got amazing boxing IQ. He knows how to read a fight. He knows, you know, his feint. Check out your timing. Check out your, you know, he. And that comes with experience and reading a fight. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, he certainly knew how to throw Eddie in off the scent, didn't he? With uh, this uh, Joshua fight, didn't he? Yeah. But we've been saying this for months, though. It was last what? year. We've been saying it was not going to happen. Look, we said it last. We said it over a year ago that Wilder had a contract, so they just stayed quiet and carried on with the business, didn't they? Yeah, but they made themselves look stupid. Yeah. Wilder's a broken man, but he wants his blood. He yeah. wants Tyson's blood. Yeah. He's not going to take side money. No. No. You know, and the other thing is, Fury has to be careful because this kid has been training behind the scenes. He's been working on a lot of things behind the scenes. Yeah. You know, what, they're saying July 24th? When is he going to get in camp? I'm not sure what's happening with that. If he's been partying. But... Well, look, this is how I look at this, right? I don't think there's no July 24th fight happening. And I don't even know if Tyson Fury will even fight again, in my opinion. Right, because he's showing all signs of just getting a little bit giddy and getting a little bit carried away with himself at the moment. And it wouldn't surprise me if, if it wouldn't surprise me at all if he fought this year because he's just had 15 months out at game. Oh, that's and, uh, you can, once you're out at game that much, you lose your sharpness, don't you? Yeah, you do. You do. Again, you're right. Again, that's always the difference. I know he's been training, but I'm not sure how heavy he's been training. But that's why you look at elite fighters like Mayweather. Yeah. Mayweather is constantly training, constantly in shape. Yeah. As much yeah. as I don't like the guy, I have to respect his work ethic. And um, he wins, he knows how to win. Yeah. You know. Um, but he's always in shape. He's always training. Um, he doesn't take his craft for granted. Yeah. Tyson Fury, I'm not sure that mindset is the same. Yeah. I'm not saying he's not training. He must probably be training, but at what level? Yeah. And he can get caught up. But I do think the fight, I don't think that fight will happen in July. I think it will probably happen in August. Yeah. But Wilder wants to spoil the party. He wants to really destroy the party for Joshua yeah. and uh, Fury. Now, yeah. Joshua then has to fight uh, Usyk, and that's going to be interesting again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, moving on then, let's uh, let's talk about the two fights that we've got. Because they look fantastic on paper, Usyk against Joshua. Fury against Wilder, if both happen. I'm very sceptical about what's said in boxing industry. And I always go against the establishment and what's said. Well, mm -hmm. I can, sorry, I can just hear, hear some noisy background. Is that your internet or something? No, nothing. I can hear some interference in the background. Really? Yeah. Let me try and turn my... Is it yeah, gone? That, that's better, yeah. That's okay, it might be my... Yeah. Right. 
Uh, I, I'd say that uh, Joshua don't want to fight Usyk. Mm-hmm. It's all wrong for him. And I don't think Tyson Fury is ready to fight. I don't think he's in the fighters got the fighters mindset on at the moment. I don't think mm. he's got that hunger. And I think he's at an age now where he could get old overnight. Because he's had that much inactivity, hasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I agree. And the the thing is, is you're right. I'm not sure whether he's got that fighter in him, you know, um, that hunger in him to fight Wilder. Um, but Wilder's hungry. And if you fight, if you fight a fighter that's hungry, that's starving, they're going to throw everything at you. Yeah. Whereas, whereas if your heart is not there, that's the problem. Yeah. Tyson Fury's heart is with fighting Anthony Joshua. Yeah. His heart is 150% yeah. fighting Joshua, not Wilder. Yeah. And that's why this could be a dangerous fight for, for Fury. Yeah. Because if yeah. your heart is not in, in something, it, because he's so pissed off about what Wilder's done, that emotionally, I don't know if that's going to play a part as well. And you know boxing is psychology and emotion. Once I get your emotion charged up, you ch- you're you clouded by, by your emotions. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, that's true, yeah. So he's really, really pissed off about what Wilder's done. Um, but he needs to be m- mentally ready. It's all about mentally being mentally prepared. Yeah. Wilder's mentally prepared. Wilder's ready to go. Yeah. Is ready for Tyson Fury's blood. He is hungry for it. Yeah. But but Joshua, going back to Joshua, sorry, going back to Joshua. Yeah, you're right. They don't want that fight. Usyk. Usyk is another one that's going to spoil the party. Usyk is made for Tyson and um, for Anthony Joshua. Style makes fight. He, he, and that's why they wanted that fight. They've been praying for that fight because they know they're going to expose Joshua. It moves around a lot. Joshua can't deal with fighters that move around a lot. No. If you're stationary and you stand there, yes, he will take you out. If you're moving, it makes it harder for him. And not to talk about his cardio, he starts to gas out around mid, mid round five, six, he starts to gas out. Usyk is going to pick him apart. Yeah. It's a horrible fight for Joshua. I wouldn't, if I was um, uh, Mr. Eddie Hearn, I wouldn't <laughs> but anyway, he has no choice anyway. He has to fight Usyk. Yeah, I agree with that wholeheartedly, mate. I agree with that. Because I think the plan was for Joshua. This is my this is my my, my thought now. Well, yeah. The plan for Joshua is fight Fury, maybe your two fights, and call it a day. Yeah. Avoid certain fighters. I think that was the plan. In his mind, in Joshua's mind, fight. Um, fight to, uh, Fury twice and call it a day. Yeah. All these young fighters come, they're too hungry. They're too hungry for Joshua. Yeah. Once the hunger goes, that's it. Yeah, yeah, I see where you're coming from. Yeah. He only wants to get that belt from Fury and then call it a day. But there's people that want to spoil the party. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> And do you know Usyk, right? Robert McCracken uh, doesn't want Wilder or Usyk for Joshua. Yeah. Wilder can put his lights out and Joshua's there to be hit. Usyk can't be hit and he'll dance rings around him. So I think that Wilder and Usyk are a nightmare for Joshua. Fury's a nightmare for Joshua, but he's the big payday and they get two fights. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. And with, 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 Fury, Fury's got the belt, so it makes sense Joshua fighting Fury. Yeah. But now Joshua's got guys that are hunting, they want that belt. They're hungry. So it's, uh, yeah, they're both, I can tell that they're both pissed off. Joshua's pissed off. Fury's yeah. pissed off. Yeah. But um, what's Joshua going to do now? Joshua's going to have to fight Usyk. That's definitely going to happen this year. Uh... Yeah, it's got, 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 it's got to happen. I mean, if you, could you imagine if Joshua vacates that belt now? I know. 
Eddie Hearn's in a tight spot here, you know, because he's got one fight left with Joshua. Mm. Does Joshua go on his own then? I mean, Eddie Hearn could be out in the cold here. That's true. And you know what? Joshua could do it on his own. Yeah, of course he could. He don't need Eddie Hearn now. He's massive, isn't he? Absolutely. He could do it on his own. Yeah. And I guarantee you there's people talking to him, talking in his yeah. ears like, mate, you could do it on your own. Yeah. I'm sure his, his, his pal, Mayweather, will be telling him, mate, I made twice what I was, make, what I was making when I went on, on, my, on my own. Yeah, two seconds. I'll just drop something down. No worries. Yeah, uh, you just made a good point there. Uh, what about Joshua against? Sorry, what about Tyson Fury against Wilder? How do you see that panning out if it if it happens? You know the trilogy, the rubber match. It's going to be very tight. It's yeah. going to be very tight. It's going to be very yeah. tight, but it's not going to be a walk in the park for Fury. No. No. Uh, that is it. It's not going to because this guy has been training since that, since he lost the fight. Uh, and I think he's been working on certain things. Yeah. He couldn't box before. And Wilder was blessed with a power. All he just needed to add to his, to his tools was just a little bit of boxing. Yeah. Just a little bit of boxing to be setting up that punch rather than looking for it and swinging all over the place. Yeah. And if he's just got just 15% of that, it's going to be a long night for Fury. Someone's going to get knocked down and going to get back up. Yeah. That's, it's going to be a tear up. It's going to be a tear up because you, I can see the train, he's trying to, he's working on closing an angle and, you know, I mean, work. I can see certain things that they're working on. And if Fury takes this fight lightly, it'd be over. Yeah. What do you what do you think? What do you what, what's your thought on it? I think that Wilder knocks him out. I don't think Tyson Fury is uh, taking it serious. I think he not mm. I think he gets knocked out by Wilder. I see that happening as well. What do you see, John, if Usek beats Joshua, do you see Joshua rematching him? Yeah. But how can that be if it's a mandatory fight? Don't, yeah. Don't the WBO, WBO rules state if it's a mandatory fight, no rematches. No rematches. No. So why would why would Eddie Earn want to put a rematch clause in if it's against the rules? And if he does put a rematch clause in, why would the WBO allow it when in their rule book it clearly states no rematches for mandatories? Yeah, but we all know how Eddie, Eddie Hearn is. Yeah, they want, they want to go into a fight with no risk so they get two bites at Cherry and it's all wrong. It's like with there Joshua Fury, they want two bites of it. There you go. There you go. We all know. Eddie knows how to con his way into things. So uh, that's his golden goose, golden egg. So he's going to protect it at all means necessary. Especially that's, his gonna, um, that's going to be his last fight with, with, with Eddie. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot on stake. A lot I'm not sure. Might be, as you said, they might even vacate the belt. They might, they might vacate do. The they might do. You never know, do you? Mm. They might do. Yeah, it's exciting times ahead, John, isn't it? It is. It is. But that fight, if they're going to happen, that fight's going to happen. Joshua, um, he has to fight. Yeah. He has to fight this year. What do you think about the Twitter beef between Joshua and Fury this week on social media? What do you think about that, John? I haven't been following it that much, but I know they've been calling each other out. What's what's the what's the what's the thing on that? I know jo Joshua's called him a fraud and said, "What?" And Fury said, "I'll fight you for twenty million bare knuckle." Oh, Joshua, yeah. So Joshua says, well, the homeless people are still waiting for that seven million that you give them from charity, which you never gave them. And uh, so I don't know. It's just a bit of back and forward. It's banter, isn't it? Mm. But uh, I don't mm. know. people love all this banter because it gets themselves out there. Whether it's good or bad, they like to be spoke about. 
So yeah. and I, I just go along with it, but I always give my opinion and tell the truth. If people want to behave like helmets, I'll talk about them like helmets. But mm. if they behave good <laughs> and do well, I'll compliment them on it, but I won't have anybody pissed up my leg. Do you know what mm. I mean? We're saying they give <laughs> seven million to charity and all that. It's rubbish. Yeah. Utter rubbish. Yeah, yeah, when you're fooling the public, it's not good. And the charity is work. Come on. It's yeah, yeah I don't agree with that. Yeah. Best not to say you're gonna do what you're gonna do it rather than you know, it's best not to just fool people. Yeah, yeah. You've got to be thick skinned when you do this, Joe. I didn't used to be thick skinned, but now <laughs> I've got a skin of a rhino. Mm. Uh, mm. What do you see next for Billy Joe Saunders? Is he gonna retire? I think he's gonna take a nice long break. Come back, um, find his hunger again. I think max one or two fights, and I think he'll knock you on the head. Yeah. Yeah, this is a long, a, a lonely road for him. This is going to be a lonely road for him. And he's going to question a lot of things. He's going to have a lot of time to himself. One or two fights, and that'll be it. He's made his money anyway. Yeah. What do you think? I think he'll fight again. Uh, but mm. I, I think it's risky if his eyes are as bad as they say. But we haven't, seen, no, we haven't seen any x-rays yet, have we? Hmm. And we're into week three now, and we haven't seen an interview from Billy Joe, have we? Is he back in the UK? Yeah, he's been must back a bit now. I think he is. Just, must be. Just keeping a low profile. Here. Well, I mean, normally he's got plenty to say for himself, and normally IFL and all the other YouTube down market channels are normally hanging out at the back of somebody after a fight like this, but the media blackout across the board is out of control. You mm. know what I mean? Out mm. of control. Mm. But what can you do? It, there's, it's just one of the things, isn't it, John? No, absolutely. Um, yeah, now I think, um, yeah, it would take, take a long time. You might see him back, what, we're in May now. Maybe latter part of the year, maybe October, November, might yeah. see him back. I don't think... I think another year max. I think we'll yeah. call it a day. How old is he now? 33? So, Billy Joe, I think he might be 32, is he? 31, 32. something like that. 32, nearly yeah. 32. Yeah, de depending, depending on how, as you said, depending on how bad the damage was. Because that, you know, that kind of injury, just yeah. it makes you spend time on your own and a long think about everything. You know, his career, kids, got family, you know. Do you feel that Billy Joe was matched correctly or had a padded record throughout his career? Because he weren't in a firefight up to that fight, were he? He'd never been in a firefight, had he? I think Billy Joe is a good boxer, but I'm, I wouldn't say he's a knockout eyes. Mm. I think the game plan with um, against Canelo was just to outbox him, win on points. Yeah. I'm not sure if they had a plan to knock him out. I don't think that was a part of the plan. It was just box, stick and move, and in and out, in and out, and just glide through points, win. What do you think about Canelo now having 20 wins over world champions like Floyd Mayweather? Do you think that's a kind of amazing, considering he's only he's just 30? Amazing, absolutely amazing. Yeah, I he, he could box, he could fight. Um, his movement, you know, he, the thing is, he learned a lot from Mayweather. That loss he had from Mayweather. We watched Mayweather's fight, you just see he's picked up so many styles from Mayweather. The way he moves, you know, he's just very tricky, he's crafty, you know, um, just constantly thinking, constantly two steps ahead, constantly just adjusting. Yeah. And amazing, amazing boxing IQ. Yeah, and he's only getting better. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I see where you're coming from. Yeah, he's always in the gym, and that's what Batra was saying about elite athlete. He's always in the gym. Yeah, but yeah, you know, he is, yeah. Time, time for party and all that stuff. He's always in the gym. Yeah. It's like Mayweather, same thing. They're always in the gym. They take the craft very serious. 
they do, yeah. Yeah, they do. You know, do. you can't be off-season and putting on two stones and and, and then you, you got a camp in, in six weeks and no. These guys are in shape. If you tell them let's fight tomorrow, they're good, they're good to go. They're good yeah. to go. Yeah. That's elite athlete, athletes. Their mindset is completely different. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree with that. Yeah. Okay then. Well listen, thanks for coming on. Uh, Just the last one. What do you think of um yeah. White? Dylan White. Dylan White. Yeah. And uh, then Chris Sariola, isn't it? No, he doesn't need that fight. Well, that's what they're saying. They're in talks. Chris Sariola. Who wants to see? He's an old man, isn't he, Chris? He's 40 odd. We want to see Andy Ruiz. That's what we want to see. Yeah, yeah, we do, yeah. Why, Chris? To build Ruiz fight up. No, we want to see Ruiz fight. That's what we want to see. Would you want to see Parker and Dylan or Chisora and Dylan? Nah, I don't want to see none of them. Would you would you want to see Parker and Chisora again? Nah. Well, th this is coming to to an arena near you. Really? <laughs> I think so. Yeah, it's recycled. Yeah, I know they're working on it. Recycled do you want, garbage. Do you want to see, do you want to see it? No. No, I didn't want to see it in the first place. No. I mean, what's next for what's next for Chisora? Uh job center, I think. Or uh, hospital ward talking like Riddick Bow. Yeah. Me memory loss, memory loss, and Scooby Dooby Doo. That's what I see for Chisora. But once he's done with boxing, David A. will pimp him out to Dana White. Trust you me. think? Watch this space. Oh yes. Oh yes. You know what? There's pimping Curly and there's pimping David. Okay. But I tell you what, MMA is a different ball game. Yeah, a complete different ball game. Yeah, I think it's, I think I think Chisora has made enough money. I think a couple of more fights. I'm not sure about world title level, but a couple of more fights. Yeah. Let's not get me because he keeps coming short with these guys, and it's the same style. It's almost too predictable. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's no jabs. There's no. It's just trying to land the haymaker, and people because yeah. people can read that a mile away. You know, if it was just again just applying just ten percent of just a bit of jabbing and a bit of just using his jab and a bit of boxing, it might help. Yeah, yeah. But it's the same. You know, just trying to bully his way through, and people can read that. It's predictable. Yeah, yeah, I agree, mate. I agree wholeheartedly. It, it comes through all the time against um, Usek, same thing against um, Parker, same thing. So close, but it's just yeah, so far away. Yeah, exactly right. I don't think you can move that gear to the next level. Yeah, I don't think Chisora's got any brain cells left in his head. That's what I think. I don't know. I don't think it. he obviously must know he's boxing because he's got this far, but surely he must know that he's being pimped at this stage of game. Surely to God. He just keeps getting beat, doesn't he? It keeps getting beat. Well, the thing is, they keep giving him all this opportunity. That's the good thing about the people, the team we have around him. It keeps yeah. getting this opportunity. And I think he's yeah. finding it really frustrating to be privileged to be getting this opportunity and coming short. And I think he yeah. was really devastated in the last fight. He was really pissed off. And I think he, they should have given the fight a draw. I don't think anyone would argue if they said it was a draw. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I think Chisora might have nicked it a little bit, a little bit. Yeah. Um, okay. So, um, but yeah, so I think that, yeah, you're right. They're working on a rematch. And what happens if he loses? Well, they'll just keep digging him up again, won't they? But that's when he starts to, that's when he needs to start thinking about his health. When because all this. Oh, sorry. All these uh, punches later on, next ten years, will start to play. Will start to play up. Yeah. Will yeah. catch up. Do you think that? Yeah, do you think? Do you think that Eddie Earn will be phoning him to ask him out if he's had a good Christmas in ten years when he's talking like Meldrick De Taylor? Eddie Hearn is a businessman. Whoever's hot, that's who he wants to hang with. 
Yeah. yeah. He's a businessman. Straight up, straight up businessman. Doesn't care. Yeah, yeah, I agree, mate. I agree. Okie dokie then, John. Thank you for coming on. You've been a real you, you've been a real addition to the Porky Express train. Yeah, absolutely, man. Really, uh, my pleasure, man. And I'll I hope put, I'm, I'm going to put this on members area today because it's a good video. How's that, John? Thank you very much. You no worries, a, mate. You have a great Sunday. All the best to you and your family. And you as well. Take Cheers, care. John. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Yes, bye.